Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. So have you ever had that feeling where you read or watch or listen to something and you think you've learned something new, but then a few days later you try and remember what it was and you find that you've completely forgotten everything that you thought you'd learned? Well, in today's video, I want to share nine simple ChatGPT prompts that will help you to remember more of the things that you learn and will go over some research-backed learning principles along the way too. I've linked all of the prompts in the description below so that you can steal them and try them out for your Yourself, so hit that subscribe button and let's get into it. Okay, so the first prompt that will help us to remember everything that we learn is one that I use whenever I get to the end of a book, video, or anything that I'm learning from. This prompt uses active recall, which has been shown to be significantly more effective than simply reading when it comes to effectively learning new content. We can use ChatGPT to generate some fun active recall questions that actively test our knowledge of what we've just read, helping us to retain that information for much longer. We can use a prompt where we first insert the name of the content we've read, so in this example it might be a book called The Power of Now, and then we can say to ChatGPT, you're a memory expert, I'm trying to remember key concepts and quotes from the above book to make the key points stick. Please provide me with five quiz questions to test my knowledge. Ask one question at a time and wait for my response. Do not ask them all at once. Now, with ChatGPT's training running up until 2021, a cool hack here is to use Bing or a paid app like Shikan that allows you to enter a YouTube video link or more recent book or articles and then generate questions that are up to date. One of the best ways to remember what we learn is to turn any theory into actions and then learn by actually doing something. I recently read a new book on sales. Instead of just reading this from beginning to end, I read to a point where a practical example of a sales tactic that I could try out was explained, and then I stopped reading, put the book down, and integrated the tactic into my next sales call to try it out. Because I had to actually think about how to use the sales tactic for my specific need, I developed a much better understanding of it, and I was able to more effectively remember what I'd then learned. ChatGPT can save us lots of time here when it comes to translating what we've learned into actionable steps. For example, we can ask ChatGPT to summarize content and turn it into actionable steps using the following prompt. We can start off by putting in whatever it is we're learning from. In this case, it might be a book like Eat That Frog from Brian Tracy. And then we can ask ChatGPT to summarize the key points from the above book output the key points referencing chapters, and then output actionable steps to help me better understand and remember these key points. When it comes to effective learning, encoding is just as important as using active recall. To help our brains to encode what we're learning, we want to make the information as easy to remember as possible, and one of the best ways to do this is to relate it to things that we already know. We also want to test our existing knowledge and identify any knowledge gaps to make sure we actually understand the concepts that we're learning. ChatGPT is great here, as you can get it to critique your understanding of an existing topic before you dive into it in more detail. This uses the evidence-based learning concept of priming your knowledge, which is the same as reading over your notes before a learning event, such as going to class as a quick refresher and to prime your brain for relating any new information to what we already know. We can use a prompt where we put a topic in at the top, in this case quadratic equations, and then say to ChatGPT, you're a learning expert, please critique my understanding of the above concept. Expand where necessary and simplify. Identify any knowledge gaps and suggest concepts that will help me to understand the topic more thoroughly. You can then add in a short paragraph explaining what your understanding is of the topic and ChatGPT will give an honest critique identifying any knowledge gaps you might have and also explaining things in simple terms for you. One of the best ways to learn anything effectively is to become curious and move from learning being a chore to being genuinely interested in the topic that you're learning. When I studied medicine, there were some topics that I had to learn for exams that just didn't interest me and I often ended up finding these things difficult to remember. So to learn effectively, we need to make even boring topics interesting for us. And one way to do this is to link information to something that we already understand and are interested in. For me, when I was learning topics in neurology, like myesthetic gravis, which weren't inherently that interesting to me, I'd try and find an interesting clinical case or piece of medical history that piqued my interest and helped me to better encode the topic to something that I already knew, which was innately interesting. This could be time consuming, but luckily ChatGPT can instantly turn even the most boring topics into something more memorable. We can use a prompt like, 
topic and then insert whatever the topic is, like myasthenia gravis in this example, and then say you're a learning expert. For the above topic, find an interesting news article, famous story, or interesting example that helps me to better understand and relate to the above topic. Making learning both fun and relevant is really important if we want to remember things for longer. I'll often remember conversations I had with people in work or at home pretty vividly, especially if that information is told through a story. A good story gets us curious and holds our attention so that we're focused on what's happening and so we're more likely to then remember stories than we are a list of items that we're forcing ourselves to then memorize. Now I love this particular ChatGPT prompt as it's super creative and it finds a famous figure related to the topic we're learning and then allows us to role play with that person creating a memorable learning experience. First of all we insert our topic which might be algebra in this case and then we say you're a learning expert find an interesting example of a famous person from history who's been impacted by the above topic. Create a role play so that I can ask that person questions about the topic. We might want to talk to a character from a book or a historical figure like Napoleon to help us to more effectively remember a historic time period and it just makes things more interactive and much more fun. For me, curiosity is one of the most powerful tools that we have when it comes to effective learning. If I'm curious about something, I'll actively want to understand more about a specific topic. For example, I recently went to the cinema to watch Oppenheimer and it immediately got me interested in how accurate its depiction of the historical characters was and I also was intrigued by the physics behind nuclear technology. This is something called just-in-time learning, where you're learning in the moment as opposed to a scheduled study session where you set out to learn a specific topic. If I watch a TV show or a movie, it might generate curiosity immediately, and I might then head into ChatGPT either on my Mac or on the ChatGPT app on my iPhone if I'm out and about, and ask for an explanation using something like the Feynman technique so it breaks things down in simple terms. When I went to see Oppenheimer, for example, I put in the topic nuclear weapons and then said, explain to me in simple terms, like I'm five years old, how nuclear weapons work. If I don't put something I've learned into practice, I'll tend to forget it. In fact, that's one of the reasons I started my blog and this YouTube channel. By sharing what we've learned with others, it helps us to collect information together and explain it in simple terms, which aids our own understanding. I often find that sharing things like these prompts forces me to dive much deeper into a topic, and as I'm practically doing something, I'll remember it much more effectively. The downside here is that not knowing where to start when it comes to writing a blog post can stop some people in their tracks. Luckily, ChatGPT can help us out here by offering some structure so that you can focus on sharing your key learning points rather than on the intricacies of writing a blog post. For example, we can use the prompt, I'm going to write a blog post about my experience of learning marketing to help me better remember key concepts and share information online with others. Provide me with a blog outline for a blog about my experience learning email marketing. Whenever we come across a completely new topic, it can seem difficult to learn at first. I remember reading about particles in physics for the first time at school and thinking the topic seemed pretty conceptual and not really that practically relevant to me at the time. It was only when I understood the topic's importance and relevance that I then found it much easier to learn as I then knew how it related to other concepts like matter and mass and motion that had real world applications. Now we can use ChatGPT to help us gain a wider context map for new topics before before we learn them. This aids in coding and makes topics we might perceive as difficult a little bit easier by relating it to things that we already know. We can put in our topic at the top of our prompt, in this case electrons, and then say, you're a learning expert, I'm studying the above topic. Provide me with its wider context within the subject and world so that I gain a full understanding of its relationships to other concepts and importance and how it may relate to things that I already know. For the final prompt on the list, I'm actually going to give you two prompts that will help you to become a memory master and remember absolutely anything to impress your friends. While it's best to understand the topic in detail rather than just trying to memorize something, sometimes we do want to memorize lists of items. This might be a list of vocab for language learning or just a shopping list so that we don't forget our groceries. ChatGPT can be really helpful here and I'm going to give you two prompts that take techniques used by memory masters that break down long lists of items and make them more memorable for you in your mind. The first prompt uses ChatGPT to build a memory palace in just a few seconds. Firstly, we're going to list out all of our items. So in this case, it might be a shopping list of a bunch of items we've been told to pick up from the store. We're then going to say, you're a memory expert. Use the method of loci to build a mind palace to help me remember items in the above list. 
Now the second prompt then uses the PEG mnemonic system and turns your list into a linked series of items and images that are easier to remember. Again, we can list out our items, which might be vocab or again, a list of anything we need to pick up from the store. And then we're gonna say, you're a memory expert. Use the PEG system to help me remember the above list of items. Why not give both of the prompts a try and let me know how you get on in the comments below. I've also added in a link to all of the prompts in the description too, so that you can copy and paste them and try them out for yourself. Now, if you're interested in more ways that ChatGPT and AI can be used to help you learn more effectively, definitely check out this video, which dives into even more prompts and techniques that you can start using right now. Thanks so much for watching and for subscribing, and I'll catch you again next time. See ya.